Men desperately chase women who do these 12 things. Now, in love, dating, and romance, there are certain things you can do that will either draw a man close to you, make him fall in love, crave, desire, and want to be with you forever, or things that can subtly push him away, cause him to lose interest, pull away, and ultimately reject or ghost on the relationship. So we're going to avoid that and get the things that draw him to you in this powerful training. I'm Brody Boyd with Magnetize Your Man, if you don't know me already, and I've been a professional love and dating coach for over 13 years, so I have unique perspective into what makes the male brain work which we're going to be going into in this video the first thing that a man desperately chases a woman who does is giving your full presence giving your full presence is a valuable gift that you can give to a man that shows him that you are there for him that you are there in this moment that you are not letting other distractions come into your awareness your relationship one of the most powerful things you can do when you're with him is simply to put away your phone don't look at your phone don't check your text messages because whenever you do whenever you're getting distracted by those other things you're taking away your full presence and you're showing him that he's not that important to you and there are other things in your life that are pulling at you that are distracting you from your relationship with him so it's something you really want to avoid the second thing that men desperately chase women who do is words of affection words of affection shows that you are interested in him that you care about him and that you are showing him what it is about him that makes him special the things that actually draw you to him things that you admire things that you respect about him it's very flattering to the male ego and to his sense of masculinity that he knows that he's with a woman who sees his value who can recognize his value and shows that value it's one of the top love languages for most men is words of affection words of affirmation so one thing that my wife did when we were early on in our dating is she would start to uh, tell me things that she really admired about my skill sets, what I was doing with my work, the areas that she thought I was a genius in. So you can tell him those things that you authentically admire about him, and it'll make him feel really good. It'll make him feel like, wow, this is a woman I can see having by my side long term because I feel like she's my cheerleader, she supports me, and I don't want to lose her. The third thing that men desperately chase women who do is cuddling and intimacy. Now, cuddling and intimacy is important because it shows that you have a connection to him physically, that you are wanting to connect with him physically. It's one of the top love languages for men, again, is physical touch. And it doesn't necessarily mean sex. It can also just be simply holding his hand, putting your arm around him, cuddling on the couch, being close. That warmth and closeness is super important to make a man feel deeply connected to you. I remember when I was dating... Uh, early on, I had a woman who I was actually very interested in, very attracted to, and we went on a trip together. And one of the things that really bothered me was during that trip, it was with her family. She probably had other things going on in her mind, but she was very um, not affectionate at all. You know, even when we would sit next to, together, she was not really um, that, that close where she was before, but it made me feel disconnected from her. And it made me really start to question the relationship because I didn't want to have to you know, put myself out there constantly trying to generate that affection. So I just felt like uh, it's probably not the right one for me. And I started moving on pretty quickly after that. So it's something to look out for. The fourth thing that men desperately chase women who do is caring about his day. Caring about his day shows that you are caring about him, that you want to actually know what's going on in his world outside of your relationship. And it also creates a routine and a regularity around your relationship where you are getting these regular check-ins so he can feel connected to you and you can feel connected to him. So when you're having a conversation with him or when you're messaging together, asking questions like, how is your day? How are things going? What happened for you today? You know, how are you feeling? Those kind of questions check in and get to reconnect with each other. And that's one thing that I feel me and my wife did really well early on in our relationship was checking in together at the end of every day, even when we were apart from each other, um, she would check in. We, I would check in with her. You know, how was your day? We would have conversations and just get to really experience what was going on for the other person when we were apart. So it's also especially powerful for long distance relationships. The fifth thing that men desperately chase women who do is noticing when his mood is off. So when you're together hanging out, if you notice that he seems a little off, his mood is funny. He's getting a little more aggravated at things that don't normally bother him, such as the weather or something that happened with a service person or logistics. Actually ask him about it. Say, hey, is something going on? Is something off? You seem like your mood is a little off today. 
mentioning those things helps him to see, to feel that you're actually empathizing with him, that you connect with him, that you're recognizing those subtle shifts so that he could potentially open up and say, you know, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bothered because I found out that my mom is having issues and health issues and it's really bothering me. And so you could potentially bridge a connection where there wasn't one before just by you getting out of your own head and, and not thinking so much about yourself and does he like me and is this working but more like what's going on for him and you know how can I tune into where he is seek first to understand before seeking to be understood very powerful in relationships the sixth thing that men desperately chase women who do is gentleness gentleness is one of the most powerful feminine traits that can draw a man to you make him feel like his heart is melting when he's around you because of the softness, because of the warmth, that you're not constantly asking him to do something or bickering or causing arguments or fights or getting insecure about things, but you're actually more willing to set aside your ego in important moments to actually connect rather than conflict. So one of the most powerful things my wife did when we were dating early on is she said to me one day, you know, part of me wants to manipulate you right now. We were having some tension, some things were going on, but when she said that to me, it showed that she actually had the awareness of herself that she wanted to manipulate me, was willing to be vulnerable and courageous and share that with me. And also that she cared about my heart, that she wasn't just going to let herself go into arguments or conflicts with me, but she would actually open up the bridge and uh, open the bridge and say, hey, I want to connect. Part of me wants to do this to you. I don't really want to do it right now. And then I was able to just connect with her and talk about it, which I thought was fascinating. It's a very powerful move to make. The seventh thing men desperately chase women who do is being willing to hit the reset button. So if you guys have had some conflict, there were some arguments, there's some tension, oftentimes the most powerful thing you can do to stop having this conflicting dynamic and instead create the team dynamic is to hit the reset button. And what that means is to say, hey, I'm willing to let it go. I wanna hit the reset button. Let's start over, let's start fresh. So it's about a willingness to forgive, a willingness to let go, a willingness to set aside your ego, your, whatever you've maybe taken personally and say, hey, I wanna be on the same team. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the issue that we're both having with something else as if we're teammates and not make it about us fighting each other. So let's hit the reset button. It's a powerful thing. It can be a game you can play in your relationship with him. And if he gets it and you explain it to him, you know, when we get in conflict, let's just hit the refet reset button and start over. Um, that can be a powerful way to move past things that were maybe bothering you before and reconnect in the relationship and make him see you as a teammate rather than as a competitor. The eighth thing men desperately chase women who do is being loyal and trustworthy. Now, one of the most powerful ways you can show loyalty and trustworthiness is for one, trusting him until he proves himself otherwise, being willing to trust him fully until you get signs or he actually does something to break your trust and then you of course talk about it and see if there's some forgiveness there are things you can work on or you know walk away the other thing you can do is being willing to uh not do things that are showing that you may have something to hide so not being so secretive around your phone and one other thing you can do as well is actually share with him when you know some guy was trying to hit on you or he made you feel uncomfortable you know of course this is more when you're in an exclusive relationship but sharing those things with him lets him know, hey, I'm actually um, going to let you know when those things kind of come up so that you can trust me and that you know I'm not trying to do anything behind your back. So that's very powerful as well. The ninth thing men chase women who do is being natural. Being natural means being willing to let your hair down, not always wearing full makeup when you're with him, not always dressing to the nines when you're with him. Of course, you do want to do those things. But you also want to show him that more vulnerable, casual, relaxed side of you. And it could also just mean that occasionally when you're hanging out with him, and often when you're hanging out with him, that you just totally let go, relax, let yourself have fun, and be natural. Be who you really are. Stop trying to pretend to be somebody who you think he wants you to be so that he doesn't leave you, but actually be your authentic you. Be natural. Be uh, your unique self. And you'll find often that that's the actual thing he was waiting for. He was wanting. And once you are doing those things and showing him that side of you, you'll find that he was waiting for that the whole time. And now he's actually like, wow, this is the woman I could see myself being with because I want to be natural. I want to be relaxed as well. And when a man really falls in love with the authentic you, that's a deep form of love that will never go away. So be willing to do that often. The 10th thing men desperately chase women who do is being willing to take risks. 
being willing to take risks with him comes from emotional risks as well as other types of risks that you might engage in together such as adventures maybe financial risks like starting a business or other things so one of the most powerful things my wife did when we were first dating together is she had a really intense issue she was dealing with and she actually just broke down and shared with me the whole thing and was crying and it was very intense and it was a lot of emotions and i was actually a little scared at that time because this was only within probably a month of us meeting each other and uh, like maybe our third or fourth date and uh, hangout and she um shared it with me and i was very um uh actually pretty scared in the moments or just kind of like uh, i don't know that's a lot for me but then actually when i sat with it i'm like wow i feel more connected to her and i feel really bonded because she was willing to take that risk and it shows a lot of courage on her side that she was willing to share and not only just share but letting herself be vulnerable with me and actually breaking down letting her emotions flow because it's a very feminine thing to actually share your full emotions with a man and it can bond him to you in a deep way you may want to just gradually you can gradually start sharing those things maybe not the first date you know the second date but once you're a little bit more comfortable together you can start to reveal more of those intimate details things that you may be scared of sharing with him that can be very powerful and actually draw him much closer to you the 11th thing men desperately chase women who do is improving yourself i remember when i first met my wife one of the things that drew me to her the most was she had read a lot of the same books that i read we actually met at a self-improvement kind of spiritual workshop group in Waikiki. And during that group, I had heard her share some things about some books she'd read. And afterwards, I wanted to talk to her and hear more about, you know, what she had read, what she had been doing, her interests. And I found that we had a lot of these commonalities and it drew me to her because not just in that moment did I realize she was a woman who wanted to improve herself, that wanted to grow in her personal development and her spirituality and her relationship skills in different areas. But she continued to show that to me throughout our relationship, her willingness to want to read books, to want to go to you know, new courses, watch videos together, talk about ideas. So it's a very powerful trait that can show a man that you're a woman who's not just where you are, but you're also improving. Even if you have a lot of issues right now, which we all do, but that you're continuing to want to improve those issues and taking steps to do so. The 12th thing men desperately chase women who do is taking care of your health and yourself. One of the most powerful things you can show a man is that you're investing into yourself regularly, into your health, into your well-being, mental health and physical health through routines such as exercise, good nutrition, uh, other ways that you're taking care of yourself and your health. What it does is it shows him that you are not only valuing yourself that you are a woman of value who is worth investing into that will sh compel him to want to invest into you as well because if you're doing it you must be worth being invested into but it also shows that you are someone that he can rely on that's not going to just let your health go or let your other areas of your life go once you're in an intimate relationship with him or married that you're going to continue to implement those routines to be the best version of you for yourself and for others it's a very powerful signal to send to a man that will see help him to see you as a long-term potential and want to invest more and commit to you as a partner that he can see himself being with the rest of his life. So as you can see, the things that will make a man fall in love and desperately chase you can be subtle, and some of them can be obvious and others not so obvious. The key here is to look at which of these can you start applying right now in your life so that you can send those signals to men and to the man you're interested in that you are a woman of value and that you are worth pursuing and being a priority and not just an option in his life. Next, if you haven't yet, make sure to take our free love quiz to get a loving, long-term and committed relationship with a man you desire by going to getlovequiz.com or go ahead and click on the link in the description or in the comments below this video so you can get those secrets, get a plan of action ready for yourself right away and start attracting lasting love that you can rely on and feel safe and secure with with a man that you're excited and passionate about. So much love, hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you again very soon.